Okay, my friends, so we just covered the data preprocessing part and we covered it in a flashlight thanks to our data preprocessing template. And now we're about to really build and train the simple in our regression model on the training set, of course, right? Remember that we split it, the data set into the training set and the test set. The training set will be used to train our simple linear regression model and the test set will be used to evaluate it. So now we have to start with the training. And so there we go. Let's create a new code cell and let's implement the very simple linear regression model. So the first thing we'll have to do is to import the right class with which we're going to build this simple linear regression model. Because indeed we could either implement it from scratch or we could use libraries. And of course we're going to use libraries because I want to provide a very clear code template which allows you to build any simple linear regression models in a flashlight. And this library that we're going to use is scikit-learn from which we're going to get access to a certain module called linear model and from this module we're going to call a certain class called linear regression and our simple linear regression model which we're going to build will be exactly an instance of this class right it will be an object of this class all right so let's do this let's start by importing from you know from the scikit-learn library which has the code name sklearn so from sklearn then as we said we're going to get access to a certain module so we have to add a dot here and which is linear model. And from this linear module of the scikit-learn library, well, we're gonna import the linear regression class. Exactly this one, linear regression. And then, as we said, this simple linear regression model, which we're gonna build, will be an instance or an object of this linear regression class. And therefore here we have to create a new variable which will be exactly this instance of the linear regression class. And we're gonna call this object, we can call it by any name, but we're gonna call it regressor because indeed we are doing right now regression, right? I remind the big difference between regression and classification. Regression is when you have to predict a continuous real value, like a salary, as we're about to do. And classification is when you have to predict a category or, you know, a class, which we will do in part three, classification. All right. So regressor, that's a new variable, which at the same time will become the object of the linear regression class. And you can exactly see this object as the linear regression model itself. You know, I remind that a class allows you to implement a couple of instructions to build something and well this linear regression class builds exactly the simple linear regression model all right so you have to see this regressor object as exactly this model right so regressor and then to create an object of a class well there is nothing more simple you just have to call the class itself linear regression and then add some parentheses and that's it. Usually there are some parameters inside that we can implement but here you don't have to enter anything this will just create the simple linear regression model and it is so simple that usually we don't have to play too much with the parameters, all right? And that line of code directly creates the simple linear regression model. And that's only the building part, you know, we actually get a model. But now, of course, we have to train it on the training set and therefore we have to connect it in some way to the training set. And the action or, you know, the function that connects it in order to train it is called the fit function and that's exactly our next step here to proceed to the training remember this because you know this is your first machine learning model so this is the first time you're going to use this fit method and then you're going to see you're going to use it all the time whether you're going to do neural networks or anything in artificial intelligence the method that we're going to use to train our regression model is the fit method and how do we call such a method well first we have to take the object itself regressor and then add a dot and then add the method itself, which is fit, and add some parentheses. So as a reminder, the fit method here is a method of the linear regression class. And I remind also that a class indeed has a couple of not only instructions, but also tools. And these tools are called the methods. And these tools complete some actions like training a model on a certain training set or predicting some future results, you know, on the test set. So that's the first method and you'll see that then we'll use another method. All right, so basically this fit method will train this regression model, the simple linear regression model 
on the training set. And now, as you might guess, the only thing that's missing here and that we have to enter in the fit method is, of course, the training set itself. However, we have to enter it in a certain way because the fit method expects a certain format of the training set. And this format is, of course, you know, the couple of X train and Y train, right? I remind that X train contains the features, you know, the independent variables of the training set and Y train contains the dependent variable vector of the training set as well. And the fit method here expects exactly the training set in this format with first the matrix of features X train and second the dependent variable vector. X train and Y train just like that. All right, so now what I suggest is that we run all the cells because we haven't run any cells so far. So we're gonna do it because indeed when we're gonna run the cells, something will happen in the output. So let's see. First, we have to import the libraries where we import NumPy, Matplotlib and Pandas. Then we import indeed the data set. Make sure to have it uploaded in Colab. Then step three, we were gonna split the data set into the training set and the test set. So there we go, now we have X train, X test, Y train and Y test. And since we have X train and Y train, well, we can now train the simple linear regression model on the training set by calling this fit method taken from the regressor object of the linear regression class. Here we go, let's play the cell. And as I told you, there is something in the output. That's just to say that indeed the linear regression model is created and that's the default parameters. You don't have to worry about them. But there you go, congratulations. You actually built and trained your very first machine learning model. I'm super excited for you. I remember how excited I was the first time I did this. So there you go, I know the feeling, but be aware my friends that this is the first, but definitely not the last machinery model that you're gonna build. We're gonna build many others, more complex of course, and for any types of applications. So, you know, by the end of this course, you will know how to do anything in machine learning. And that's why we really wanna provide code templates for you to be efficient on how to play with them, okay? So, congratulations again. Now we're gonna to proceed to the next step, predicting the test set results. And for this, we're gonna use a new method. And so, now I would like you to take action. I would like you to try to predict the test set results before we do it together. And I'm gonna give you a little hint, even if you can look at it online. Well, the method that you have to use to predict new observations is the predict method, as simple as that. You know, they chose some simple terms. So there you go, try to implement that before me. That's your little exercise here. And we will implement the solution together in the next tutorial.